Hey, hey, y'all. It's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. Come in and say hey. Get y'all pulled up so I can see your comments. I made it on time, y'all. I did, I did. we go. I got you pulled up. What y'all doing? Did you miss me? <laughs> I was just here this morning. Hello, hello. What's up, what's up, y'all? Come on in. Oh, I was going to bring something in. Daggone it. As y'all are coming in, give me two seconds. Two seconds. Okay. I'm back, I'm back. What's up, y'all? What's up, what's up? So, y'all know I got the diva head, right? So here she is, the crafty G Mall. Shannon Tensley made these gorgeous heads. Um, Sandy, I haven't forgot about you. I saw your message come through. I'm gonna message you, I promise. Um, made these gorgeous heads, and I've got another one on the way uh, that has the big sunflower around the eye. Gorgeous. So, Barbara, I'm going to look for you, too. I promise. I didn't forget about you. Um, so, we're going to do this. Now, y'all, I'm winging it. I've never done this before. So, this is the plan. I'm using the small, unique, and the creek board. So, if you need your boards, there's a pen post at the top of my page. You can click on that link, take it over there. Use CREATE, all capital C-R-E-A-T-E, and you'll save 10% on your order, but you have to use my link. Okay, y'all? Hi, hi, hi. So, this is the plan. What y'all think? The only other thing, y'all, I, I don't have any black mesh. I literally ran out of black mesh. Who does that? Halloween season. Who runs out of black mesh? Me. So, anyway, I am gearing up. I'm getting really excited. We are less than 900 away from 20,000 followers. So, y'all hit that share button. For every 100 people that come in this live, the giveaways are here. So, I will be giving this snowman, adorable snowman, wreath attachment. For every hundred people that are in here. Okay? So, share, comment, follow my page, and I will do the random comment picker. Not today, um, but I'll do the random comment picker. And we will give these babies away. I've got five to give away. So let's get 500 people up here in this live. I know we can do it. Hit the share button. Float my boat. Okay. So I've already got one going. Because we already have 161 people up in here. So I'm going to bring y'all down. And we're going to get started. So she's. Look at that. So we've got this ribbon. And I've got the furry ribbon. So we're going to figure out which one we're going to use. Margaret, I'm glad you're here because I may need you. <laughs> so everybody float my boat. I'm going to bring y'all down and we're going to get started. So y'all remember, I'm winging it and we're going to figure it out together. Okay, so small flower board. What I'm thinking, the only thing I could find because I was out of black mesh is this gorgeous brown with that copper in it. So I'm hoping it looks really good. If not, I will 
exchange, redo it when my black mesh comes in once I order it. <laughs> so, um, so this is what we're going to use tonight. What I'm thinking is two of these um, rolls for every set of zip ties. It might not be enough, but um, we're going to figure it out. And if I need to add more, then I'll just order more. So I'm going to start with the inside and work out. That way, if I don't have enough, at least it'll be on the outside. <laughs> so that's what happens. I get so excited, y'all, that, that I, I forget. I may not have the, the supplies I need, but we're going to make it work. So this is the Diva Head um, from the Crafty G Mall, Shannon Tensley. So we're going to put her aside and let's work on this frame. You want to see the comments, right? <laughs> so I cut these. This is 10 inch mesh that I just cut at 10 inches. Okay. If I can wing the eagle, right? So all I'm going to do is take it and I'm going to roll it up and then we're going to scrunch it right in the middle. I'm hoping it's going to be pretty, but we'll, we'll see. And we're going to put two in each one and I'm going to start with the inside and work out. This It is beautiful mesh. Um, this is what I use for my... Um, the scarecrow man with the hat and the jeans. So all I did, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cross them just like that. And we're gonna put them right in the zip tie. Thanks. Oh, we got 200 in here. So that's two snowman I'm giving away. hope so. I hope so. I don't know if anybody's done these on the small boards. So if you have, chime in and let me know how many rolls you used. I even thought about using black tool, but I, don't, I didn't know how that would, um, how that would look. Jackie, I get to all the messages as quickly as I can. I get tons every day, so I cannot guarantee you when it will be answered, but I do get to them eventually. So, one on top of the other. Put them right in there. Thank you for floating my boat. For those of you that are joining, I am Michelle from Monkey's Creations. And we're having a giveaway. So, no, this is not the competition head. Um, so, I am so close to 20,000 followers. So, for everybody that comments and shares, for every 100 people we get in here, I'm giving a snowman wreath attachment away. And it comes with the head, the arms, the legs. So, y'all float my boat. You did them on wireframes? Ooh, that seems like a lot of work. Is it easy? You think it's enough? Okay. Tool does um, stick to mesh. But if I was going to use the tool, I wouldn't use any mesh. Yeah, this mesh is pretty. I love the color. But I think I would have preferred black. Um, just because I, these colors, I don't know. It, it may look great. We'll see. We shall see. So I'm just filling in this middle. I 
clipping the zip ties as we go. <clears throat> and I'm going to look. Oh, I think it's going to be gorgeous, y'all. Alright, so we've got the middle done. So I'm doing every set of holes. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on that next row. So what have y'all been up to all day? Do you like the kit? We're doing our diva head. We're doing our diva head. Can you see that? I don't know how much you can see. I am crossing the two pieces and putting one on top of the other. First time watching. Well, welcome, Shelly. I appreciate you being here. This is just regular deco mesh. So, yeah, I'm crossing them. Just putting one right on top of the other, just like that. Oh, you missed the lives in the daytime? Well, I came on at night just for you then. <laughs> I think two is going to be plenty. Because it's already starting to fill in really well. You're making masks and watching it rain. Get that back out of the way. So, ooh, oh, that wasn't the head. <laughs> Slight panic attack. Hello, hello. What's up, what's up, y'all? Big storms. Oh no, be safe. First time watching? Well, welcome, Jonathan Redding. Johnny is my son <laughs> who got the black and white wreath. No, girl, I don't, I'm not painting no diva heads. I'm doing lucky to paint a board one color. The, the Diva head came from the Crafty G Mall. Shannon Tensley. Um, I know. <laughs> so, um, Shannon, you want to if you want to put your um, page on here, go ahead. So that if people want these, they know where to go. She does awesome work. She's the one that did my full mannequin heads as well. Um, so she did the witch and the um, and the uh, the sugar skull. Now we ain't breaking no necks now. <laughs> Not at all. I hope I have enough mesh. I hope. I hope. And I'm making sure that that cut end is down, face down. Um, no, I haven't done any of the heads yet. So I'm kind of scared, y'all. I don't want to ruin them. So I'm just pulling that mesh up and placing this other mesh right down beside it. Hello, hello. What's up, what's up, y'all? I'm just doing row by row. Give her some hot... Oh, that's a good idea. I could probably do that. Okay. 
Where's my clip? My clip is hiding. I cut it 10 inches. So bring it up, putting it right down, and zipping it right in. You gonna paint me another one? <laughs> Shannon, did you put your um, page in here? Did you put it in the comments and I missed it? I'll, I'll put the link in the comments after the live as well. Um, she does awesome. I mean, she does awesome signs and and the heads and all kinds of things, y'all. Sometimes comments can go so quickly. I'm not being rude, I promise. I just can't catch everybody. I try, try. Well, look, Paula. Paula's out of bed. Is it morning there? She's in New Zealand, so I'm always, I never know what time it is. Twice in one day. There's Suzanne. What's up, what's up? So I'm just going to check it, see where we're at. See what it's looking like. You may have, I may have missed it. Is it buffering? Oh no! Maybe go out and come back in because it looks like everything is fine on my end. I'm thinking one roll may even be enough, but we'll see. We shall see. Oh yeah, I'm not seeing any problems on my end. you. <laughs> What's up, dear friend? Put a blonde strip in her hair to make it look like <laughs> your hair. There you go. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, it's filling out nicely. It's filling out nice. This is just regular deco mesh. It's um, brown with copper um Copper uh, foil in it. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? So, everybody 
float my boat, hit that share button. We have an awesome giveaway tonight for every 100 people. So we've got over 200, so that's two wreath attachments we're already giving away. So all you have to do is share this live and comment. Just say, hey, what's up, whatever you want to say. This diva head is from the Crafty GMA, the Crafty G Mall. I don't know why I say GMA, the Crafty G Mall. I am, I am, I got excited and had to do the diva wreath. All right, so I'm checking. Let's just pull them up and make sure all of those are done. This is just a quick way you can check because if it comes up and it's loose, you know you haven't done that one yet. Say full. Look, you're just trying to make fun of me. <laughs> Don't do it. All right. I'm just going to check, see what it looks like. We may have to take that one out, but I definitely want it to be full. Oh my God, I love her, y'all. I love her. Okay, we're just gonna keep going. I'm trying to figure out, let's see how many pieces we have left. Cause I only had one roll and then like a quarter of a roll. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen pieces. So if we do two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. First time here, well welcome Judy. I'm Michelle from Monkey's Creations. So if you have any questions, I'm trying to catch them as they go. Um, and we'll figure it out. I'm going to go ahead and just put 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. I'm going to go ahead and just put one roll in just to make sure that my board is covered. Um, oh, thanks, Patricia. Um, and then I can always order more mesh. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's add that, hopefully. Okay, so I'm gonna put one in. Let me see where I'm at. Because it's really full already. Am I going to attach your head with the glue? Um, no, I don't think glue is going to be strong enough. Um, I'll show you what I'm going to do when I get there. Sorry. I'll show you. Boat has been floated. Thank you very much. So I'm going to go ahead and just put the one in. I did not heat seal this, so I'm being careful. I don't want to have it start fraying everywhere on me. Fifty more. Can we get to three hundred? Can we do it? Can we do it? I've got five wreath attachments to give away. All you got to do is share and comment. I might need a nail gun. Thank 
Latanka. Hello, hello. So how many new people do I have in here? Give me a thumbs up if you're new and never seen me before. First time watching. Well, there's Deanna, new one. Awesome, well, welcome. Oh, well, there's a few of you in here. Yay, I'm excited. The head challenge, Lord, I'm gonna have nightmares. <laughs> so yes, if y'all have not heard, I won the Eagle Challenge against Lori Franklin. So, my next challenge will be on Drea Brown with Ranch House with a mannequin head. So, the date, we don't have a date yet. We're waiting on the heads that Shannon from the Crafty G Mall is painting exclusively for us. So, as soon as we get it, thank you, thank you, y'all. First time watching, well, welcome. First time watching today, girl. So, oh, where that went. So as soon as we get those and we get our supplies, we will get y'all a date. Yes, welcome all you new people. Second time in your hut. Yay! Team Monkey. Thanks, Vicki. I love that eagle. Don't want to do another one. That was a one and done. <laughs> one and done. Okay. Got them all. It's hard to see in all this mesh. Hello, hello. The black and white check beside me is going to be um, a, uh, a gnome wreath. Yes, the gnome. Dang, my table is really full if you can see that. <laughs> hey, hey. I had the stars right. I had the blue right. <laughs> and you won the gift card. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so we're going to put one in here. Oh, thanks, Dawn. Look at my peeps. All right. This is the easy part. The hard part is gonna be to figure out how to put that head on here. But I had something planned. Let's see if it works. <laughs> we shall see. It was fun. We had a ball doing it. We really did. It wasn't really a competition. It's about having fun and raising money. Actually, I'm thinking this mesh is going to work. Isn't she? She is talented. She is, she is. Um, Patty, it was, uh, I believe, 4600 We had to crack it up. <laughs> Still working. 
working on it. You might even, if y'all are going to try these, what you may do is in every other, put two. So two, one, two, one, two, one. You see what I'm saying? And um, then it will be, um, I think you're going to be just fine. So I'm, I'm working it for y'all. What's up, Jelly? What's you doing? For your sister, oh, Metis, ooh. Yeah. You'll be praying for, for sure. Scott was good, he was. And I know he would do it again in a heartbeat. Oh, we're only 20 away from the next 100 giveaway. So if y'all are just popping on, I'm gearing up. I'm so close to the 20,000 followers. So for every 100 we get in here, if you've shared and you've commented, you're going into a giveaway for a wreath attachment. So I have five wreath attachments to give away tonight. So one for every hundred people we have in here. So I've already given away two, and we're close to a third. Hello, hello. Oh, is he live now? Isn't he out of town? I may be wrong. I thought he was out of town. Thank you for floating my boat. Does it apply to Canadians? Girl, I know how much it costs to ship to Canada now. <laughs> I know, I know. Boats are floating. All right, we're almost done with this part, y'all. Oh, Chris got a new truck. I knew that was coming. He was talking about that the other day. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking, y'all. Good to see me live. No, I didn't know I was a hairdresser. <laughs> they don't pay me enough to do this now. I did finish the yellow um, school one. Yeah, I posted pictures of it earlier. And I went to look for a cauldron. And I don't have a cauldron, y'all. So I need to go shopping. So I can get a cauldron. Joy, you need to get your business account, girlfriend. Y'all, if y'all don't have business accounts with UPS or FedEx, you're missing out. Because I can ship all day long to anywhere in the United States for less than $21. And y'all know how big my wreaths are now. 
Hi, hi. Thanks, Jelly. All right, last one, because I'm out of mash, y'all. But let's see what it looks like. Right there, you know what? One, one. Let me redo this one because I put two in this one, and then we're gonna have just enough. Let's do that. What size boxes? Um, I ship in 22, 22, 8, and 24, 24, 7. But those 7s, I can cut down if I need to. I get the 7s because they're cheaper than the 24, 24, 6. And then I can cut them down. Right on me too. Cause my hair's it's a mess. But definitely I mean the and there and I'm I'm talking like ten to twelve dollars cheaper. Um so that's why I get the twenty four twenty four seven and then I can cut them down to a six, five, or four, whatever I need to cut it down to. So if it's just a sunflower, I can cut it down to a four inch and um, it works just fine. Those pumpkin wreath forms? What pumpkin wreath forms? I don't have any pumpkin wreath forms. Oh, we did it, y'all. We got 300. So that's three snowman wreath attachments that we're giving away. So for every hundred, I'm giving away another one. All you have to do is share and comment. That's it. All right, let's, I'm oh, don't mess up the eyelashes. Thinking she's gonna have to go further up in there, y'all. Let me bring this back. And so we're gonna take this one out. And I'll show you the back when I'm done. This is how I work. If y'all have not seen me before, I wing it. I figure it out as we go. And then I will post. Or I'll show you the back so you can screenshot it so you know exactly what I did. Oh, there you go. That's a good idea, too. Let it face me a minute. She got some wild hair, y'all.
So I think that's going to be good right there. But I'm going to need one right here. Hold on, let me think, y'all. What I may do is I may take it and bring them together like that and put it in so it's going, ah, so it's going that way, y'all. So I'm going to leave it open. Oh no, hold on. I'm thinking, y'all. Y'all know how I work. You think you kind of like it? Yay! So what I did was I put it in sideways so that it was going this way, but I needed to cover up that space. Does that make sense? See how you can't see the board now, whereas you could before? So I needed to cover that space, but I needed to make sure the head still sat in there. Okay. And I think I'm going to have to do the same thing right here. So we're going to go ahead and close that up. Used our last piece. So all I'm doing is essentially folding it in half and putting it in there just like that. Oh no, now it looks like she got hair coming out her her forehead, y'all. <laughs> we can't have that. Okay, I I think that's going to work. Is take my Sharpie. Y'all, she seals these heads really good. I'm so afraid I'm going to scratch it. But I, I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> so I'm going to try to flip it over, keeping it where it's at, and seeing where I can. I'm afraid my nails are going to go through her head. <laughs> I brought an awl. Hope is I just spilled all them on things. So I'm going to put a whole Hopefully, yes, I can see those. So let me turn my glue gun on. So what I'm going to do is the same way I do your styrofoam ball sent us. Well, of course, that one doesn't have one. I'm going to use the pipe cleaners and the floral picks as I just threw them all over my table. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Is it freezing? Oh no, 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 we can't. There, we're back. We're back. I didn't do anything, y'all. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I don't know what's going on. I'm afraid to do anything because I keep losing y'all. I'm gonna wait for my glue gun to heat up. This one heats up really quick. And I may have to add another set of holes, but I wanna get these in there. Um, and then I can literally just take in my pipe cleaner, fold it in in half. Slow, I promise. Let's see if that's hot enough. So I'm literally going to put glue right in this hole. Put my pipe cleaner down in there. Take my floral pen, put it at an angle. Just like that, put another thing of glue right on top of it. Okay, then we're going to let that cool off. It looks like I've stopped freezing, so we may be good. Nope. I just lied. It just went out again. <laughs> So while that's drying, what, we're just going to put like a really simple bow right here. So should I use the furry one or should I? I, who, who does my heads? Which one should I use? Every time you say the... Oh. <laughs> Which one should I use? So... It's already dry, but let's
Now, I'm not going to make anything permanent yet. Because <laughs> I'm scared. Dang, this is a really good wire in this thing. I'm telling you. Use the furry one as a headband. We may just make her matchy matchy. This stuff is thick, y'all. What I'm going to do is we're going to run just seeing. Go ahead. Now I'm going to put this one in, but just know we may need to add another one. But we're going to see ooh, what it looks like. Two holes, y'all. There we go. This is harder than it looks. <laughs> I'll get everything adjusted. Trust me. Let me just get her attached temporarily. She's not working for you. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's what I'm thinking, Sin. Maybe attach the head first and work around it, but... I'm trying to get her placed the right way there.
we may lose that piece. in here. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to get it in place. It's like trying to deal with my hair, man. <laughs> thinking she got too much hair, y'all. What I'm thinking is it needs to be up a little bit more and have just the, the hair maybe from here. I'm trying to figure out where the board is. She used to yank your hair the same way. <laughs> and have it, do you see what I'm saying? And have it here. I'm thinking I just don't have the head high enough. Does that make sense? She needs earrings. Where are we gonna put them? <laughs> she got no ears. <laughs> oh goodness. And then we can take this would be a good way to get her hair all up out of her way. Pretend. <laughs> You're killing me. Or I have, we could make her, um, I have a scar. I have um, leopard material. Try like I had, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But I really love this ribbon, y'all. So I'm trying to make it work. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> so. A headband, yes. Hold on, I'm thinking. Um, let's see, this just, this isn't working for me. I'm thinking maybe tilt the head. Yeah, I could take that wire out. Look, I'm trying not to to ruin. The ribbon needs to be closer to the head. Do you see where I'm going with it? Turn it more this way so that her hair is all back here.
and I can use the um, the uh, fabric I have. I don't know if I want to make a scarf and cover up all. How about just a poofy bow? Let's see, she needs to sit back a little further to cover up the top of her head. Can you make longer curls? I could. I would have to use 21 inch mesh. But that might be something that we could play with. But I'm really liking the idea of using this as a scarf, y'all. I don't know why. <laughs> Come on, let me do your height. Put the headband on first, then attach. I could put some curls directly in her hair and just use floral pens. I may, Amy. I don't want to take it out and then not use it and waste it. <laughs> That's why I'm, I'm being careful. You think there's tears in her eyes? There might be. <laughs> so if I do that, I can take those out. She doesn't look bad, bald. <laughs> Hush it. <laughs> See, that's why I wanted her further up in so that these curls would cover that up. Let me try one more time. You'd be crying by now? Girl, there ain't no reason to cry. We get it figured out. I promise. I promise we figure it out. I just, I'm trying to make sure that I'm not pulling <laughs> This out of her head. <laughs> uh, the bow is covering her entire neck. I could actually bring it down a little bit and do it over here. Let me figure out the head and then we'll figure that out. All right, that looks a little better. So I could, I'll have to order more mesh, y'all. Stab her, I don't want to stab her in the head. <laughs> Poor girl. So I may... If I add, oh look, that's what she needed right there. She needs this one piece of mesh right dag on there to cover up her bald spot, y'all. So let's 
see if we can bring this down here so you can still see her neck. Look, y'all know I like this ribbon. I'm going to use it. Daggum it. <laughs> Daggum it. Something like that. It's getting there, y'all. No, don't go nowhere. Get back here. Does that look better? Am I getting there? Trying not to cut this ribbon, but it's really getting on my nerves. Hey, girl. You still think she needs further up on the board? Take out a few mesh right above. Her head still has to be at the side of the board. She needs a drink. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So her head still needs to be on this end. But maybe if we move the whole thing up and have her right here. Hello, hello. Put the headband up a bit more and pop some of the curl out from underneath. That's an idea. Too much with trying to cover the hair, maybe just the top of the face. So if we bring it more up that way and then have her head this way. I'm trying to figure out. But see, we still, my worry is I still need to cover the board. So that's that's what I'm thinking so we could just put more hair there I'm just winging her head everywhere
doing? I'm trying to find a hole. So we're just going to solve this problem right now because I'm done messing with it. We're just going to make them longer, y'all. This girl's sweating. Tequila. Okay, let's try it again. Adhering the head first. Yeah. I am going to take out the hair, but I don't want to take it out and waste it and then end up moving everything. So I want to see what the placement looks like before I start yanking out the hair. Because if I don't like it, there's no sense in taking it off. Think that looks better. What do y'all think? Just taking our hair off piece by piece. Cousin yet. I 
I know it's freezing. I know I know it. There ain't nothing I can do about it. So we'll add. Look, I'm going to get this done, y'all. Let's redo that one since I have that one at an angle. I'm glad y'all are hanging with me. <laughs> are you laughing at me yet? I'm on the right hairline now. been cussing a long time ago. I am in my head. <laughs> but I tell you, after all messing with this mash, I will redo the whole thing with new mash. Because as sure as heck ain't going to try to sell this thing with mesh that I've smushed and redone and Hip, head back a little. What do you mean back a little? What's the clicking noise? My dryer. This is literally how I work, y'all. I ain't lying. Okay, what y'all think? Now I know you can see the board here, you can see the board here, but y'all, I'm still gonna use this daggone ribbon, I'm telling you. I just have to figure out Put a stud where the ear should be. I don't know. I just think that would look kind of weird. <laughs> Wouldn't that look kind of weird? Now I am going to add another set of holes, so right back here to make sure that she's really on there once I get everything done, um, and then I'll glue it as well. She needs a curl coming down where her earlobe should be. Look, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out where my ear is and where her earlobe should be. <laughs> so I'll go through, and there's still some holes. I'll go through and I'll add a couple more curls in there. She ain't done yet, I promise.
by the neck where the gap put the ribbon. By the neck, there's a gap put the ribbon. Yeah, I know. That's that was the the what I was trying to um to go with before. It's not as easy as it looks, y'all. I'm telling you, I thought, mm, there ain't no problem with this. I got it. It's a piece of cake. Yeah. It's harder than it looks. I ain't even gonna lie about it. You're sweating too? Are you sweating for me? Now tuck it by the neck. I did. Isn't that what you're talking about? It was a dog. I was fussing and cussing. Well, that's where it's at, y'all. What y'all talking about? It's got to be closer to her stout because it looks like she's a size 72. <laughs> oh, my God. Like that? I can attach ribbon to the front of the board. Y'all got y'all got me all. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna study pictures and I'm gonna figure it out where it's supposed to go. So that's my homework for tonight. And I may just get the fabric. Y'all, I've got leopard fabric. And maybe make a... I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm going to figure it out. So y'all going to be surprised when you see it tomorrow. It might be midnight tomorrow. But... <laughs> so there's what we have so far so this girl now on now on the front on her forehead it's better than before <laughs> Place the ribbon on her head itself below below the curls. Two of the olden days tied off. <gasps> yes! Jennifer, you win! Daggone it, I love you. Look, forget wrapping that daggone thing. Look, we're just gonna. <laughs> I think it'd be stinking cute. Don't y'all think? And just tie it on there? Yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Jennifer, you may have been joking, but um, I actually love that idea. <laughs> No, <laughs> it just solved all our problems. What you talking about? Look, I'm gonna cut it off. No, I like it. <laughs> we could even put another bow up there. She's shedding now. <laughs> She's shedding. Oh, I don't like the bow there, but I think she's a daggone cute. <laughs> no bow up there, yeah. I already decided. Did you, Jill? I didn't see it. I must have been in the throes of, uh, of fixing the head. Oh, I cracked myself up. What y'all think? Is she cool? <laughs> I kind of like that now. I ain't gonna lie. I do need to fix her hair. Who makes the head? The crafty G Mall. The crafty. So definitely, I'll work on the head, definitely, the hair. And we'll get some more added down here. And I may or may not leave that. <laughs> I do too, I like it. So here is the back. So I'll, put, I'll post a picture once we definitely figure out this is going to be our layout. But, um, Channel and Tina Turner, there you go. Not for me, Patty, that's okay. Not everything we do is going to please everybody, so I'm good with that. But I definitely wouldn't tell somebody on a live. That's kind of kind of rude, but it's okay. I know the bow around her neck is loose. I'm not sure I'm keeping it there. <laughs> bow might be yeah, yeah. We'll get we'll add a hoop here. I don't know about the earrings, y'all. How are you gonna add a hoop when she ain't got no ear? <laughs> Oh, goodness. She looks fabulous. 
try a scarf. I will. I've got some fabric in there, um, and I'll I'll play with it again tomorrow, and then I'll order some mesh, um, and we'll redo the whole. I'll redo the whole thing so that I can even attempt to sell it. <laughs> Exactly. So, all right, I am out of here, y'all. It's late, and this girl's tired. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try a scarf. The leopard, um, I've actually got leopard print um, fabric in the other room that I can try. I'll see you about an earring, y'all. I'll see you about it. You've made them? Well, Harriet, you need to message me, girl. Who has anybody made it on a UITC board? That's what I want to know. Or glue a diamond? Yeah. I might could do that. We'll see. We'll see once I get her done. Into the hairline. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see. You're welcome. All right, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good night. And y'all may or may not see me tomorrow. We'll see. <laughs> Bye, y'all.